What's up guys, Justin here with the Rhino Essentials. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about how to align different objects inside a Rhino using the align functions. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. Press, there's a lot of different situations where you might have multiple objects, kind of like these cubes right here. And um, notice how they're not aligned on really any of the axes, right? So some of them are higher than others. Some of them are spaced a little bit different. And uh, a lot of the time what you wanna do is you wanna take them and you wanna put them in just like a smooth line right? Well, uh, Rhino has a tool called the align tool that's going to allow us to do that. So there's a couple different ways that we can access this. So first off, we could click on the align objects button in the transform function right here, or you could type in align, or you could do what I do, which is you can right click and actually show the align and distribute toolbar. And so when you show the align and distribute toolbar, that's going to give you access to the alignment tools inside of Rhino, or at least most of them inside of a toolbar that you can easily access. And so basically what these do, or basically what this tool does is it aligns your objects based on the bounding box um, or the box that would contain all of the geometry inside of these objects. So basically what it's doing is assume that each one of these had a box around the outside of it, kind of encompassing all of the geometry. It's going to take those and it's going to line them up in whatever way you choose. So for example, let's say that we were to come in here and select these boxes like this. Well, what we can do is we can mouse over this and notice how this gives us options to adjust this to the top, bottom, left, and right. And so let's say, for example, that we were to select the option for align top. So if we were to click on align top right here, notice that what's gonna happen, and this is probably the best view for this, is if we click on the button for align top, what it's gonna do is it's gonna take all of these objects and it's going to align them to the topmost point of whatever you have selected. So if I was to click on this, notice what it's gonna do is it's going to align them to that topmost point and it's going to allow me to move my mouse and place these objects like this. So. For example, if I wanted to align these with just the origin right here, I could just click and notice how those all now have the same vertical direction associated with them like this. And so if we wanted these to be on top of the origin, you might, you might have considered aligning these with the bottom instead of the top. But then we also have functions to align them to the left and to the right, right? or we can align their horizontal centers. So let's say for example that we were to align left. So if I'm gonna click on this right here, notice that's going to align them to the leftmost side in here. I'm gonna hit escape because I don't wanna do that. What I wanna do instead is I wanna line these up so that the centers are aligned. Well, we can do that by clicking in the option for align horizontal centers. Notice how when we do that, it's going to take all of these and it's going to align them based on their central, central point of their bounding box like this. So you can use this in order to quickly align things to the top, bottom, left, and right. So in addition, we've also got an option here for align centers like this, but all that's gonna do is it's just gonna take the objects and it's going to put them all in the same location because they're the same size. Um, this would be different if, for example, a couple of these were bigger. So if I was to scale this to like two or something like that, so that one's gonna be twice as big, and then I was to do an align centers, they're all gonna get placed in the same location, but um, notice how you can see the different objects that are in here. Usually I don't find myself using that one all that much. So there's also an option here for distribute objects. What that does is that allows us to take objects. So let's say for example, that we've got a series of these cars right here, and we wanna put them in the parking spaces. What that's going to do, and let's go ahead and jump into full screen mode here. What that's gonna do is that's gonna allow us to set the distribution for these objects. So in this case, I could select these four cars like this, and then I could select the option for distribute objects. And so when I do that, what it's gonna do is it's gonna ask me to set things like the mode, the direction and the spacing. And specifically, we're gonna look at the spacing. So let's jump into a top-down view real quick. So what I wanna do is I wanna set these so that they're centered inside of these parking spaces, right? So we would distribute this. We could just click on the spacing and it's gonna ask me to set the spacing. And in this case, I'm just gonna click on this point right here, then this point right here, that's gonna set my spacing. Then it's also gonna ask me for my direction, which in this case, it's going to be the X axis. So I can just click on the X right here. And you do need to be a little bit careful with how you set that spacing. Notice how I was off just a little bit when I did that. And so that does affect the spacing. Um, however, we could also um, set our spacing based on the endpoint right here. 
and then our spacing would be correct. So you can use this in order to set the spacing of objects really quickly. And these tools, and so there are some additional tools that aren't shown on this menu. So we'll just drag this menu out of the way for right now. But if we were to type in a line and hit the enter key, it's gonna ask me to select the objects to align. So I'm gonna select these boxes right here and hit enter. Notice how I have other options in here when I type in a line. And specifically, we wanna focus on to curve. And so what to curve is going to do is that's going to let us take our objects based on their location and align them to a curve right here. So if I click on to curve, and then I click on this curve that I've drawn right here, it's going to try to align them with this line. Now, you do need to be a little bit careful just with the way that this is placing these. So a lot of the time it's going to work a little bit better if they're placed on top of this line. But now if I do the same thing, type in a line to curve and click on this, notice how it's going to try to align these objects to this curve in the best way that it can. So I will link to some other tutorials on this page about other Rhino Transform tools, but leave a comment below. Let me know if you have any questions. Let me know what you're using this for. I just love having that conversation with you guys. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.